All right guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have the four valve motor right behind me. We are going to be putting this thing on an engine stand and we're gonna be taking off those old style B heads. So let's get into today's video. All right, for all the people that are new here, this is my four valve motor. This is a 94 Lincoln Mark 8 motor and we are going to be C head swapping this thing in the next few videos. So today we're gonna to be taking off that timing cover. We're gonna be taking off the transmission. We're gonna be pretty much stripping this thing down to just a bare block. And um, first thing towards doing that is we have to take these heads off. So I'm gonna put it on the engine stand that's right back there. Um, probably store away all the other parts that I'm gonna be taking off of this thing. And we are going to get to taking off these um, B heads off of this four valve. 4.6 liter 94 Lincoln Mark 8 motor. Just got done taking the gearbox off. This is the TR3650. And I was just inspecting like the um, drive train, you know, the stuff that sends the power to the ground. The release bearing is pretty good. Flywheel could see in better days, probably has seen better day, but it's smooth. It is smooth. It's not like it's burnt. Now the clutch, that is toast. So this could be where we was losing a lot of that top end power like it probably was slipping up top or probably slipping down low who knows but it was on the uh, pressure plate side now the pressure plate definitely needs to be changed so I'm gonna just gonna change out the three of them one time probably gonna upgrade upgrade to a lightweight flywheel and probably a stage three or four um, clutch kit because definitely this needs to be thrown away so yeah that's done I'm about to um, bolt on the little harness thing that comes with the engine stand onto the motor then we're gonna jack this thing up using the engine lift and we're gonna get this thing on the engine stand So there it is this is the four valve motor on the engine stand and like I said the goal for today is to get these heads off so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna first pull these valve covers set them aside and uh, I'm also going to remove the timing cover and the coolant exchange or the coolant over at, what the hell do you call that coolant crossover tube <laughs> I'm gonna move that as well remove the crank pulley and pretty much just remove everything that has to be taken off to actually be able to remove those heads. So let's start on that. So pretty much got the engine on the stand. We got the crank pulley off. We got the um, 
power steering fully off and I'm super tired so I'm gonna call it quits for today and probably pick this back up tomorrow and we're gonna be pulling these heads off and then I'm gonna be showing you guys the um, C heads that we're gonna be getting back from the machine so so I'll catch you guys tomorrow Alright, so all this time I was trying to figure out how I was going to build the turbo headers for this facing forward. I only could get the passenger side of the motor to actually come forward and it wouldn't be an issue. It comes down. But the issue that I'm having on the driver's side is that the water, uh, the radiator, uh, the outlet for the block for water and um, the oil filter is in the way of me actually turning this header forward so I'll most likely have to leave this one backwards and build a small pipe that comes out underneath the motor and uh, comes to the front and meets whatever flange I have at the front of the motor so for right now that's all I have for my uh, turbo setup I'll most likely build a pipe off of this that comes out sits in the middle here bring the other pipe up connect them and that's probably how we're gonna run the turbo all right, so like I said, everything's off of it. Um, I'm gonna take off all of the timing chain components now, and then I will be pulling the heads off. I'm gonna um, take the studs out the head and remove them off the motor, and then we should get a good look at how the pistons, um, what condition they're in, because I bought this motor with 200,000 miles on it. So we're gonna see exactly what kind of wear and tear we have, and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right guys, so pretty much we got the heads off. Um, just our first look at the block. Everything seems to look um, pretty good. We don't have any like uh, corrosion or eating up of the head. You know, this is an all aluminum block. Uh, we got everything off the front. Probably take the water pump off in the next video. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. But when we actually pull the heads off, 
I noticed that uh, on the exhaust side, we are running super lean. If you notice, it's white. Even the, the tip of my spark plug is white. So you know that we weren't getting enough fuel or the mop wasn't right or something like that. But um, with the intake, um, they're black. So which makes me believe we had some type of air leak. And we had the same scenario on both heads. If you look. So running lean on the exhaust side which means the mixture itself was lean, but for some reason it was dumping fuel. So it's kind of puzzling, but like I said, we can all chalk that up to um, just not having the right tune on the ECU for those heads and those cams. All right guys, that's all I have for you guys today. We actually got those heads off. Um, the next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the exact differences between B and C heads. We're gonna check the clearances. We're gonna check the port sizes, intake, exhaust, everything. We're gonna check absolutely everything and I'm gonna show you guys what make those C heads so much better. Um, but for right now, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Always remember, don't drift without your dreams. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.